everyone, I'm Dr. Sunil with Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Today we're going to be exploring a neurological condition often referred to as White Shaker Syndrome. This is a nickname given to idiopathic tremor syndrome due to its historical prevalence in white-coated dogs. It is also sometimes called generalized tremor syndrome, steroid responsive tremor syndrome, or idiopathic cerebellitis. Idiopathic tremor syndrome is a condition that causes whole body tremors. Tremors are rhythmic, repetitive, and involuntary muscle movements that look like shaking. Most affected dogs are otherwise normal, but the tremors will often worsen over time without treatment. While the condition is common in small white dogs, such as the Maltese, West Highland Terrier, Bichon, and Poodles, it can also occur in any breed, primarily affecting dogs under 30 pounds and under two years of age. The most obvious sign is, unsurprisingly, tremors. These tremors tend to improve or even resolve while the dog is at rest and worsen when the dog is active or stressed. Fortunately, the condition is not painful, nor does it affect consciousness. So your dog may still be eating, playing, and interacting with you like normal. Some other signs you might see point to issues in the back part of the brain, known as the cerebellum, which controls our coordination. These may include general incoordination, a frequent head bobble, and a difficulty maintaining a normal head posture, wobbly gait and difficulty walking in a straight line, high stepping motions when walking, also known as hypermetria, tremors during purposeful movements called intention tremors. Less commonly, seizures, nystagmus, or abnormal eye movements may also be seen. What causes idiopathic tremor syndrome? This is where things get a little tricky. Necropsies of affected dogs have shown inflammatory lesions, particularly in the cerebellum. However, the term idiopathic means that we don't actually know what's causing the inflammation. Since autoimmune disorders are the most common causes of central nervous system inflammation in dogs, idiopathic tremor syndrome is most likely an autoimmune disease, meaning your dog's immune system is mistakenly attacking its own brain tissue. Diagnosis is also a little tricky because test results are often quite normal for these patients. Therefore, idiopathic tremor syndrome is a diagnosis based on exclusion. So you're planning on ruling out all the other causes of tremors, such as toxins, infections, and other forms of brain inflammation. Diagnostics may include blood work, infectious disease testing, MRI, and cerebrospinal fluid analysis, also known as CSF. Occasionally, the CSF may show mild inflammation, mild lymphocytic pleocytosis, but this is generally unremarkable. Although the cause of idiopathic tremor syndrome is unknown, it can be treated by suppressing the immune system. We generally start with corticosteroids, such as prednisone, and improvements are often seen within a week. Once the tremors are under control, we work to gradually taper the steroids down to the lowest effective dose to minimize side effects. In many cases, dogs can eventually be completely weaned off of the medication. However, some patients may require long-term treatment or more aggressive immunosuppressive therapies. It is really important to work closely with your neurologist to ensure your dog is on the right treatment plan. With treatment, the prognosis for dogs with idiopathic tremor syndrome is excellent. Most dogs will see their tremors fully resolve or be well controlled with long-term usage of low-dose prednisone. But relapses are also possible. In some cases, we may start seeing signs while we wean them off medication or even years later. At that point, we will begin the treatment process. And with the right care, even these cases can be successfully managed. Overall, these patients can have a really good quality of life. While idiopathic tremor syndrome, or also known as white shaker syndrome, can look extremely worrisome, it is actually highly treatable. With early diagnosis and appropriate treatment, your dog can live a normal and happy life. Remember, you're not alone in this. Southeast Veterinary Neurology is here to help.